nerds, what's up? Today is the first lady lecture of this channel, so if you haven't seen my New Year's resolutions video, then you won't know that I have decided to kind of broaden my horizons on my channel and be making videos about more than just books, which I kind of already did already, but particularly I wanted to start making videos about things that have to do with a woman's body and particularly my experiences with those. So this first video is going to be all about the Diva Cup because I just started using it. So let's get into this video so I can explain what that is. So the Diva Cup is this thing that basically replaces the option of a tampon or a pad. It's the same thing that you would use for all of the period life. So. Uh, yeah, that's what a Diva Cup is. There are two versions of a Diva Cup. They have the number one and the number two type. Uh, and they come in a box and they'll have the number on it and I think number one is pink and number two is blue but I might be wrong about the colors uh, and they'll just have like a flower of the number on it. Number one is for women who are under 30 and have never given birth and then number two is for women who are either over 30 or women who have given birth or both. I have number one, I'm gonna show it to you. It comes in a box of course but then it also comes with a bag so I have it in my little bag because I've now used it. It looks like this. So it's this little plastic cup. Um, I think it's made of silicone. There's no like holes or weird uh, ridges where there's blood that can, you know, get stuck in it. Um, it has like um, the ounces on the inside so you know how much blood you think. And then of course it has the brand name on it, which is the Diva Cup. When you insert the Diva Cup, you fold it either like this and then fold it in a U and then you're going to stuff it up of your, you know, vagina <laughs> and then you put it in there and then it'll open up because it's meant to be open like this and then at the end when you need to take it out, which I'll talk about in a second, you're going to kind of pinch the bottom because it suctions so you want to make sure to pinch it and then you pull it out. The other way to put it in is the pit way that I like to do it, which you kind of take the top and you fold it in on itself so that it looks like this. This is the way that I like to do it and then I kind of take it like this so that I hold it like this. This is a smaller insert so it's a little bit more comfortable for me at least and that's the way that I insert it and then you still take it out the same way. Number one thing that I noticed while using it is that it is no harder to use than a tampon. Not at all. Insert, taking it out, all of those things, no harder than a tampon. So if you've used a tampon before, other than like a few tricky, you know, getting used to the size and the way that you hold it to get it in since you do have to fold it and stuff, like other than that and just getting used to it one or two times, simplest thing on the planet. You just stuff it up there and then you take it out. My second favorite thing about the Diva Cuff is that it lasts 12 plus hours and it n it's not going to be uncomfortable if you have a low... Uh, if you're like on your last day of your period, the last day of my period I used it and normally I probably only had like a little bit of, you know, the spotting blood where it's like darker and it's not really blood at all at that point, it's just a little bit of leftovers and I still used it, left it in there for 12 hours because I didn't know what was going on up there, took it out and it was still the smoothest taking out situation that was when I was really heavy on the first day of my period so it didn't hurt like when you take out a tampon and you made the mistake of thinking that you were still on your period but you were not and then you take it out and you're like ow. Another thing I loved about it is just how much money I'm going to save. So a Diva Cup costs $39.99 at Target at least American dollars and uh and it it lasts for 10 years. You don't have to buy a new one for 10 years. $40 for 10 years. How many tampon boxes would I have to buy in 10 years if I just continued to buy them? I don't know because right now I'm having a period like every other day, which we'll get into on another lady lecture. It has to do with my birth control and stuff and hopefully that will be changing soon. Now, the one thing I do have to say that is a potential con, for me, I don't really have an issue with it. And it's the fact that you have to be okay with your own blood and gore. You just gotta be able to handle it because you stuff this cup into your body and then you take it out and you have to dump out the content. This is going to be nice and descriptive for you, so prepare yourself. But like, the period blood is not just like straight blood that would wipe away the same way as if you get cut, right? It's kind of goopy. So sometimes it's not coming out and just dropping into the toilet. It's like connected in places. So you have to use toilet paper and get everything out and gone and off. And then you have to rinse 
the Diva Cup itself. So you have to be okay with your own blood because you have to rinse out the Diva Cup with warm water. So the way that they recommend to clean it is within the days of your period, rinse it out every 12 hours with warm water, make sure that there's nothing in there anymore, reinsert, take it out every 12 hours, and warm water and etc. One of the ways that I've heard people talk about and the most common way that people clean it after those seven days is to put it in the dishwasher. Um, but yeah, like some simple soap and hand soap and water and such. So yeah, it's so easy. Like I'm just amazed. Why are all the sounds happening right now? Can you hear that? It's a car alarm. So that is the Diva Cup. So far, I'm enjoying it. I've used it for one period so far, and I really enjoy it. I'll definitely bring this up again after I've used it a few more times to see how I like it. Do you guys use the Diva Cup, or do you guys use tampons, pads? What do you guys like? Um, I used to use tampons most of the time, but tampons, I very easily get them into the wrong position, and then I can feel them, and they're uncomfortable. And I did notice that using the Diva Cup, I definitely didn't have it in all the way correctly. Um, like I mean no leaks or anything but I could feel it but it didn't hurt like the tampon did I could just feel it if that makes any sense like it wasn't uncomfortable it just was like oh it's obviously not in because I can feel it um, I think it just wasn't in enough like high enough so I will definitely be talking about my birth control next which is I'm on the next plan on so I'll be talking about that and I want to compare it to the depo shot but if you guys have any requests or anything for lady lecture anything you'd like me to talk about in particular well, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys very soon with a new video give it a, this video a big thumbs up if you're happy I'm making these and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in learning more and about all of the things that I make videos about and I will see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye! Bye.